Yeah. All right. Greetings. Hello. Uh, What's up? <laughs> What's up? What is good? Humans. Robots, if you're listening. <laughs> Whoever's out there, this Whoever is, is. Uh, Hyper Sanity. This is the first episode. The first episode one. Of we, have, we have finally come. made it here. We have made it here. <laughs> have you all made it here, though? I don't know. I mean, shoot. They might eventually, but yeah, we'll, have to, yeah, we'll have to look out for them. I don't know. Anyway, um, why don't you introduce yourself? You know what I'm saying? Uh, Tell well, them a bit about yourself. Give them a nice little elevator speech. Oh, wow. Well, yeah, since we're, we are so prepped for elevator speeches, we <laughs> <laughs> can just ram down our throats. But, uh, yes, yeah, so uh, I'm Alec, and, well, I hopefully will be graduating college next spring. Mm. But uh, we will hopefully. see. We're still, <laughs> we're still on route, so. Yeah. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. I make music on the side and uh, doing engineering, trying to get through it. We'll see what happens. Yeah, are we all? And uh, <laughs> yeah, anything else? Are you? No, that's pretty much it. Okay, you know, um, I'm Kamari, and uh, pretty much the same. But I am graduating this fall, so uh, yeah, looking, looking, looking forward to uh, freedom. <laughs> But might enslave myself right, you know, right after grad school. But, I mean, who knows? We'll see how it freaking goes. But, uh, yeah, engineering, music on the side. You know, I've been working with Alec for a couple of years now. In the years, has it been? Has it been years? It's probably two, three. We, I started TCC in 2016, it's been the beginning of the year. So we probably started music that summer. Was it, though? I started TCC 2015. Oh, but you transferred. Yeah, I started spring 2016. True. So, yeah. You started the fall, right? Fall of 2015. Yeah, right. so. But we had met 2016 of fall. True. So, I guess it was. It's been about. It was years. in the fall that we started making music? Fall of 2017? No. No, 2016. No, we didn't start making music. No. It was in the summer of 2017. Oh, like okay. Like spring of 2017. I guess I didn't realize that that was the same time I started, because that was when I started FSU. Was what? 2017. Spring? Yeah, we in all the summer. started. Yeah. But no, we started making hmm. music like spring. It, it was spring. But, okay. Cause it was so like spring stuff, 2017. That actually makes a lot more sense. Yeah, because I have stuff from like March. I think like the earliest was March. And then when did we release our first project? That was... When was that? The end of that year? Was it though? I mean, it wasn't that long. Like, we, we cranked through it pretty reasonably. <laughs> <laughs> no, because it was like, what, what? We had it came up with. Yeah, it, it definitely it was, was that same while. calendar year yeah. that, we, that we got it out because, I mean, we were already working on new stuff. So That's true. Anyway, that's besides the point. That's neither here yeah. nor there. That's where we started. Yeah, but. music. Now, you know, we're still doing music, but we But wanna, we also have a third eye. Yeah, and, uh, <laughs> and a brain, too. <laughs> but, um, yeah, we're trying. You were doing this podcast, Hyper Sanity. You know, we're very excited to get our thoughts into, you know, uh, a definite, you know, a, a form. What's like a, I wouldn't say a physical form, but... Some type of a virtual trail. Virtual trail, which we love so so dearly. Yeah, yeah, virtual. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, yeah. So this is our first podcast, and we are excited to to uh, discuss things, you know, everyday life and um, just anything. To be honest, because honestly, life is so freaking. Life is just so unexpected. You know, it's always stuff. Yeah. Know? But uh, yeah, uh, let's let's go ahead and kick this bad boy off. You know what I'm saying? Alec, got anything on your mind? What's up? What's up with you? Ooh, <laughs> well, hmm. What's making you hyper sane? If that's the right way, is that the right way of saying that? 
first of all, hold on. Before we even do that, let's really let's formally define. Oh, introduce our uh, our name here. Our name and like the definition, definition of hypersanity. If people don't know, you know what I'm saying. Let's let's go ahead and do that, Alex. Okay, so well, I guess we could. I could try and pull up the formal definition from uh, something that I had read, but in general, I mean, we are all sane to some extent. <laughs> now, know. there are the insane people. <laughs> <laughs> and it, I mean, it, it happens, but... Um, oh, no, it, it more than happens. Basically, I mean, the hyper-sane is to sort of take sanity to the next level. You are... I mean, you could almost be described as normal, I guess, by being hyper sane, because yeah. everyone is a little bit weird. But when you become hyper sane, you sort of just see everything beyond sort of a surface level. Right. So thus making you like hyper, as in I, the way I see it, it's like more sane than ever. Like there's sanity, and then there is wow this guy's actually questioning his sanity, which should make you sanity or girl or keeping a gender, you know, in 2019. But um, there's sanity and then there's hyper sanity, which what's like the, 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 the prefix hyper hype. Like what's the, the meaning hyper. I mean, hyper I is should be doing my fast. No. Like hyperactive mind always it means over. Over. So over sane in a sense. Yeah. So I mean that makes sense if you question everything because Yeah, I mean anyway. Yeah, essentially. So yeah, we we decided to we're we're gonna get hyper sane on this podcast and we are going to add a little bit of comedy within that, you know what I'm saying? You know, there's our our regular personalities tend to be on the comical side so we're trying to take a light of a lot of things even though everything freaking sucks yeah that's know. true but here this uh actually this right here says from i don't know who he is but this is uh from neil burton md apparently MD. He says both mental disorder and hypersanity place us outside society, making us seem mad, in quote, to the mainstream. Mainstream. Both attract scorn and, <laughs> and derision. Uh, but whereas mental disorder is distressing and disabling, hypersanity is liberating and empowering. So there you go. That actually sums it up pretty nicely. It does, because. So. And then it follows that by saying, ultimately, standing out is the price we pay for being outstanding. Hold up. You had to run that one more time. So, ultimately, <laughs> standing those. out is the price we pay for being outstanding. Standing out. So, be, us being an outstanding, outstanding human, as in being hyper sane, is paid by us is, standing out. Yeah, we stand so out. We, in order to be outstanding, we have to stand out. <laughs> Yeah. So there you go. That there's the <laughs> the first tip if you're looking to achieve this level. Yeah, he's talking to you robots, you know what I'm saying? We're going to go there. I don't even freaking care. This is no filter. Yeah. We we're, we're just going to bloop. We're just <laughs> <laughs> You know what I'm saying? I already feel fine. You know, I'm, I'm I feel comfortable, great. How you feeling? I feel pretty good. It is just good to be doing this, honestly. Yeah. It's a change from the mundane. Okay, SAT. Yeah. I've mm. been throwing that word around a lot lately too. Yes. But um, borderline depression. No. <laughs> I feel like depression though, like depression is serious. Depression but. is serious, but I watched like a video the other day. I feel like depression is stuff you can't control. You know what I'm saying? It really isn't. I think it's similar to like anxiety. Yeah. Because but if you think about it though, Sorry, go ahead. No, you're good. I'm go saying if it. you think about it, it all starts within. And, like, we, we control Whether we want it to or yeah. not. Or we should be able, like, we may not think we can control certain things, but there are things we can't control. So is depression really, you know what I'm saying, depression? Anyway, go ahead. Yeah. Sorry, let me, let me not even go there. No, yeah. I mean, so, it, I mean, we're 
you know deeply into the topic now, but uh, just uh, more on. Not literally, but more on <laughs> the, <laughs> the name of of the podcast. So obviously, we haven't spelled it the typical way. We have spelled it hypersanity because a lot of the times when we've come across this stuff, uh, it's actually pretty comical. So we have mixed the word hypersanity with comedy, yeah, and so, so thus giving us the last part of it. And so E D Y. So we have posted in the description of the podcast our formal definition of the title, but I'll go ahead and just read it. So hypersanity, with the E-D-Y, is a noun, uh, meaning calm, contained, and constructive, also comical, rational, yet sarcastic, not lacking scope or range or humor, taking leave of oneself, out-of-body laughter as well, Uh, seeing beauty, possibility, also nonsense, and <laughs> contemplating the bigger picture and sometimes ridiculing the smaller. So we're going to try and not be judgmental, but it's, at this point, it'll happen. Yeah, it, no, it will happen. <laughs> it's going to happen. So <laughs> if you're faint of heart, then you should stop listening now. Yeah, just go back to your Continue with the things. robotism. <laughs> <laughs> For real. I am you know a yeah. robot. Anyways. They probably read the title and be like, "Hypersanity, abort, abort." <laughs> Cannot take any more. <laughs> System overload. <laughs> for real though, like they they're like U turn, make U turn. <laughs> for real. <laughs> At next available intersection, make U turn. God. Yeah, for sure. I mean, teach <sighs> teach their own. That's gonna be a very yes. common phrase. To each their own. <laughs> You go hear that one a lot, but actually no, just keep it in the back of your head because that's what I've been doing. Because it's <laughs> it's inevitable that I'll be judgmental, and then is you know as long as you keep the thought there available, then it's okay. It's fine. I think it's okay. <laughs> because at the end of the day, what do you, what are we gonna do? All we can do is sit here and talk. Talk about it. Yeah. I mean, so whether you choose to listen, that is up to you. Yeah, whether you receive or retain that information, that's on you. you know Absolutely. So, anyway, yeah, I mean, this is our first podcast. Uh, Alec, if you want to kick us off, you know what I'm saying? Any, any yeah, uh, whoa, what do we want to <laughs> talk about? I mean, if you have anything at the forefront. Oh, no, I mean, I'm bouncing off. Whatever you throw out there, I'm bouncing off it, you know. All right, I guess I'll throw throw first. Okay, so recently I was asked to, so uh, for one of my classes, Senior Design, we have to um, have a one-on-one meeting with the professor, and uh, it's just sort of a general advising meeting, but he made a list of requirements for the meeting, believe it or not. So it wasn't just a meeting to talk about whatever happens. We had to bring in three job listings that we find interesting. They don't necessarily need to be attainable at the time. Like they may require some amount of experience or something. But uh, that and we needed some kind of a one, five, and ten-year plan. (laughs) Sorry. (laughs) You're good. That's why it's water. (laughs) It was like, I need a drink. (laughs) Sorry to interrupt, but um, I just spilled some water. It's okay. Some, you just spilled water. water everywhere, but it's all, it's all good. I think it was a sound <laughs> effect that freaking... <laughs> <laughs> just look at the, the centralized spot that yeah. it hit. That sure. was incredible, actually. Yeah, you should have brought that to the god dang senior design. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. Proceed. Anyways, I'm... so... <laughs> that's good. So, yeah, so we had to bring in three job listings, and I, it was funny because I made the appointment, and I was like, okay, I'm going to give myself two weeks to prepare for this and force myself to find something and come up with some kind of a one, five, and ten-year plan somehow. I haven't even thought a week ahead of now at this point. Who has, though? Like uh, Some people might. I mean, and, no, like the robots do because they're robots. That's all. And by robots, yeah. we mean people who just aren't, like, sorry to interject, but robots, we mean people who just aren't sane at all. 
Like, you could be a human, but be a robot at the same time. Like, just your mannerisms, what you do, your actions. But, yeah. Yeah. Like, easy to fall into. Easy, for sure. Like, you just easily. Because everyone does, I think, at some point, everyone will fall a, into it. Yeah. It's sort, of, like, it's sort of impossible to, like, get to a level where you broke, don't. You break the system or you you Right, you just not, skip it. You don't yeah. just skip that part. Yeah, like, you, we all go through it. We're born into it. But yeah. anyway, yeah, if robots... Only they, only they know their freaking five, ten year plan because they're. I mean, they're always. Freaking yeah, and so obviously that's what was expected. Luckily, so that part we didn't even talk about. That part, so. I felt a little bit better about the meeting because we were able to just trail off into something else. You know, we talked about like Formula One, a little bit. Talked about last year's standings and whatnot, and I mean different things with the team, but. Uh, yeah, so back to just before the meeting even happened, you know, he asked for these three job postings, and I was like, okay, so I have no idea. <laughs> Which we know about. And I'm so far down this path, and then it's like, wow, yeah, I really, you know I, I don't know what I want to do. You know nothing. Yeah. So, I mean, like the classes haven't really tailored towards anything. I mean, it's all just like a mishmash of I knowledge mean, that and that's i meant to tell you that's what me and uh freaking i'm gonna just say it. that's what me and, and, or and i were talking about the other okay. day like i was saying the curriculum just how they throw everything at you like it sort of makes you i mean it helps like i guess with the more indecisive people who don't know what they want to do but like yeah just, i i feel like it could help but at the same time, it's like only for the it's like it's like just throwing a net into the water and having no idea what it's going to catch. And the classes ca yeah, yeah. are the net and we're the fish. Sometimes you don't get any fish. Right. So what do you do? I then? mean, what, what are those? Yeah, they time. just keep keep swimming. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So. so there's no like definite type of catch or definite type of thing. I yeah. mean, life, like I said earlier, is unexpected. Like, our passions change. A lot of things change. Like, within the matter of even minutes at some times, like, you could figure out something and that could just put you in this whole mood. Like, whoa, I don't, I don't know if I want to do that or I don't know if I'm trying to, you know what I'm saying? Just in a matter of a moment, anything can change. So, yeah. I mean, the fact that... <laughs> And it's funny that you're being graded on that, right? You're being graded on that? Yeah, we got a grade for the meeting. I mean, it was – it would have been interesting to have had to, like, say the 1, 5, and 10-year plan just to see if that would have affected my grade if I really didn't have it because right. I was still tempted if it came up to just be like, I don't know. Yeah, I mean – I haven't thought that far ahead. And it would, it would have been really interesting to see if that actually brought my grade down. But, I mean, I got – points i would i would hope and like he seems like the kind of person where it would just be points for showing up and actually having the meeting because i bet there are people who like forget their meeting time end up getting a zero oh, yeah. for it and like it, it's through with it That's, and at that point it's like really <laughs> all these who <laughs> you gonna censor that one or no we'll see <laughs> Is he gonna no. listen to it? Probably not. I mean, there's so many. If he does, I don't care. There's so many out there. There's a lot of Alex out there too. So, uh, how do you know it's me? Too. Yeah, so, I mean, plenty. And that's a couple names we throw out there. But um, yeah, I mean, yeah, if it's graded on like accuracy and like, let's say your plan is trash, you don't and you don't know. Like, if you get an F on that, that's freaking flaw. Cause, I mean. We're off. We're just, we don't freaking know what's about the. We don't know, like. Yeah. We. Us putting us putting like, that box around us, like, oh, this, I'm gonna do this in one year, and this in five years, and this in ten years. That just like puts a nice little box around us, and then it's like, what happens if you like you don't want to do it within that time frame. You, you, you feel like you're letting yourself down, then that's caused depression. That caused stress because you're like, 
well, I told myself I'd do this in five years and this, that, and the third, and you're like almost set to it. And then like you falling out is... You're letting yourself down. You're letting yourself down, and then it's like... Which is worse than letting other people down. Yeah. Like... So... Because who cares what anybody else thinks? It's all, you know, it's all about you. But yeah. that's what I'm saying. Like, you you have your, yourself set on this, this goal, and you're, like, you're, you're going at it, and you're falling out without even knowing, knowing about it. Like, you're just depressed and going through the motions in life, and you're like, oh, I don't know why I feel this way, and blah, blah, blah. But really, it was like, it's like I guess it's your inability to accept that you don't want to do what you're doing, or like the inability to accept that you you've changed and you've grown, and maybe don't want to do that certain thing. And now you're just like in a weird gray area where it's like, do I keep doing this thing and keep myself in this box, or do I? That's true. Out? I mean, that's uh, that's pretty much where I am. <laughs> yeah, and that's where least. I am too. It's like, dang, it, sometimes you back yourself up so far, like, into this corner that it is hard to get out. Yeah, and it's and like... And it's like, oh, dang, I really just got to wait. Oh, and there's my window. Then I can finally change it up, yeah. which would be, like, graduating. And it's like, maybe then, but at the same time, you know, you've done this. So, so yeah. You're like, going to continue to sort of have to use it. I don't otherwise, know if I have to. Otherwise, you got to put your resources into something else. Yeah, and that takes time and a lot of effort. And it's like, and it's can... not really getting you anything unless you're able to to score something just <sighs> off rip. I mean, yeah, on a surface level, but you can always just say "frick it" and just. <laughs> I mean, yeah, start over. There's like, always that. Speaking of start over. Um, I want to bridge into the next topic. If did you have anything else you want to say about that? No, go for it. Well, I just want to say, um, yeah, I'm in a sort of similar spot as Alec just said, and um, <clears throat> moreover, I'm using a nice little transition. Mm. I think I, <laughs> I think I'm at that point where I'm honestly I have nothing to lose, and everything happens for a reason. So I think I'm at that point where it's like. I don't care about resources and I don't really care about like all the, the things I've gained or all the things that I will lose and all this. Like I'm, I'm at a point where I'm, I'm ready to start back at level zero. Cause honestly, life has just been crazy. Like this past, like college life has been wild for me. Like high school, I was trash. I was a trash can. I didn't try. Now <laughs> college is like, I'm actually trying. And like I'm actually doing pretty well, but then now it's semester, like last semester upon graduation, and now I'm just like, wow, all this I've done, I actually, it's almost meaningless to me, to be honest. So now I'm at that point where it's like, part of me is still latching on to, should I keep going on? Like like how you said, should I keep going on to this? something that I know I can be resourceful in and like all the stuff I built, should I keep doing that or should I just tear everything down, start over for a little bit maybe and <clears throat> make a new bridge or bridge a new, you know what I'm saying, path. And speaking of uh, social media, um, I deleted one of uh, the social medias after five years, Snapchat deleted. And honestly, it, it felt it felt great. Like I figured, I say this for the podcast. It was today, actually, and how how fitting we start, <laughs> we 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 cut the ties or something, and now we're starting a new, a new uh, a new new road or a new new thread. I guess yeah. you could say. Um, yeah, I'm not there yet, but probably will be. I mean, I mean, who's to say you have to be there? Like, That's I true. Feel like. It just depends on the person. <clears throat> That's me. true. Like, if you don't let it affect you as much, then it's not a huge deal. But, I mean, people let it affect them to, like, a maximum level. Yeah. And I'm one of those. Like, <laughs> I'm one of those. <laughs> but not, like, personally, though. It's not, I, like, personally affecting you. I get personal. Oh. I, I mean, well, that's just, like, in that, like, I wouldn't say it affect like, it doesn't, like, not, like, anything crazy where it's like oh my god i just can't go on <laughs> like it's like i catch myself 
I I would catch myself, you know what I'm saying, getting sucked into that that like dang I'm always on this. I need to get like I at first I was completely oblivious. Now that I'm actually waking up and actually living life, I realize, dang, I actually have a problem. And now it's like I've caught myself doing it that much and it's like I don't want to be on social media or it's like Snapchat and all that like that. You know what I'm saying? There's so much more, I feel like, but that's yeah. why I feel like it was taking a, a toll on me. And I was in this gray area, gray area where it's like I would go on breaks and I would go on, like, go on mm. breaks and then go on using it and then just go off and on to where it's like it's either one or the other. So I right. figured just yeah. cut it off. Got to cut ties with the toxic relationships, you know. I mean, pretty much. Like that episode of Big <laughs> Mouth. Seems like that's Nick, what it was. <laughs> it was freaking... <laughs> Well, his mom literally locked his phone away. He's in relationship oh, with his phone. We know some people like that, but it's funny. <laughs> it's funny because wow, if you can see Alex's face, we both caught the same, the same, <laughs> the same thought. Yeah, let's go down that road <laughs> since we're since we're here. Might as well. Um, friggity. I mean, just in a ge- we'll keep it general. And we'll, but, keep, and, and, uh, we'll keep it. What's the word? confidential should we or frick it no nah, i mean we'll, we'll nothing needs to be nothing needs to be confidential nor non-confidential um but yeah just just in a broad <laughs> sense we'll talk about it <laughs> we'll, we'll, we'll talk about it in later. a broad sense we'll Maybe, just we'll probably. just give it the object you know the objectivity <laughs> and and just go from there but um yeah, it's sort of like, I don't know. Okay, so even today, uh, we, you know, we tour a studio in town. And, yeah, uh, in. Uh, so Audio Production Club. Yeah, Audio mm-hmm. Production Club. Uh, we tour, which I'm vice president of. Just going to throw that out there. He's qualified. Anyways, yeah, ladies. super ladies. qualified. Yep. I got the credentials now. <laughs> Come on to me. Ladies Anyways. and gentlemen. Uh, <laughs> So, which you should have been a while ago. I'm just throwing that in there. Yeah, but. probably. But the club no, had definitely. like all these degenerates in it. So yeah, that got that were officers or not even degenerates. It's just like I feel like pe- I, well, not committed. as typical, people did it for the clout. Yeah, people. They're not like, in it oh for my the- gosh, there's leadership positions. I can I can be a leader. And slapping on my resume, and and, it yeah. makes me look better. And look at this, people. Yeah. It's like if you're gonna, how can you? Yeah, that's something that I can do. But it's like, how can you even live with yourself at that point? Oh, I'm gonna slap this on my resume, but I didn't even do it. Yeah, and then that sort of like goes back like to great. That. And then we get all these people in these jobs that have no idea what they're doing, even though they say that they want to do it, yet they're out here just, just faking their way through it. Yeah. Anyways. <laughs> Yeah. Oh. Sorry. <laughs> We're bleeping. It's out okay. Right Actually, out. We all know some Karens. Okay. Karen is just wow. <laughs> but, anyways, back to, yeah, back to the phones. So, so we're at the tour today, and just we were. Uh, the person who was in the club, actually, who's interning at the studio, was the one giving us the tour. There was nothing going on today, so we pretty much had free reign of the place. And uh, just while we were waiting in the front room, we waited for whatever reason. We were supposed to start at 12. I had to loop back around to, to pick up someone, and then we went there. So we were like 10 to 15 minutes after 12, and then we still waited even longer to see if more people would come, which I think everyone knew that there wouldn't be. That's besides the point. So we're all waiting there. A person who was taking us around had to take some phone calls. He was, you know, booking sessions for the next day and and days out because people were giving calls. It's like, that's good. It's good to know they have business. Um, But it got to a point where, you know, we all talked about whatever. And then just slowly it swept the room. Phones. And what swept the room was the cell phone. Yep. Like one person standing at the bar on it, one person just literally standing, the rest of them all sitting right next to each other. Beep, beep, boop, boop, beep, beep, boop, boop, boop. 
In their own like, personal worlds. Yeah. Virtual worlds, really. Yeah. Yeah, that's, that's pretty sad. It's like a plague at this point. Yeah, it really is. And I'm going to... And I'm guilty. Mm -hmm. I am guilty. We are, A lot of us are guilty because I'm trying to break that, though. And that's what I'm saying. Like, you have this whole studio. It's it's not freaking, you know, it's not, oh, no, you're pulling up those. <laughs> yeah, so I, I want uh, anyone who's listening to this to, there was a recent article of someone who did a photography um, experiment where they uh, took situations and photoshopped the phones out of them. And it really just goes to show you how lonely a world uh, we will live in at some point. Uh, if you Google a world without phones photography, so that is a world without phones photography. Uh, the first scary. article, QZ, like just even the header image, it it's basically just a bunch of photos uh, with people gathered, but they all, you know, have ended up at that point at the party where people just are on their phones and it's not everyone, but vast majority. And it's just all these different situations. And I mean, dang, just <laughs> like, I wish that this was like a video so that everyone could see, but a at the same time and like commentary. So maybe in the future a we may get there would be powerful if we, yeah. But um, I mean that that just goes to show like our attention spans have just plummeted. Just it's like oh we've run out of stuff to say. Phone. <laughs> oh yeah. Uh, let me see what's going on in irrelevant world. <laughs> Something that's not even in front of me. <laughs> yeah, it's all about just trying to feel good, feel entertained. That dopamine boy. Yep. <laughs> Yep, and that's why people end up not getting good sleep because they're on their phones right before they go to bed. And uh, I'm guilty. I'm guilty. I'm We're guilty. We're all guilty. Like, look at that. Okay, and so the... the <laughs> yeah, the, yeah the, this picture, it might be the worst one. So it, we'll just start from the, the basics. It's a couple sitting in a, on a patio in oh, a like chair. A, a, cabin, and, a cabin home. <laughs> well, yeah, so I was going to get to that because that's like the... If you really look the into caveat. it. caveat. Yeah, so it's just a couple sitting as a dude, the girl's sitting on his lap, you know, arm draped over him, and then he's just got his right arm out on the phone. But, oh, there's no phone there. And then the girl, <laughs> just with her left arm, which isn't draped around him, is just on her phone. I mean, the phones are about six inches to a foot apart, and their, their heads hands, are yeah. like six inches apart. Oh, uh, no, their and heads are yet, like three. Yeah. Look how close they are. They're <laughs> cuddling it's, in it's this chair. It's unbelievable. With no no phone, or with phones, but without yeah, phones. But without phones, they're just staring into this void, basically, which is what it is. I'm doing it's it right the Black now. Mirror. Yeah, yeah. If anyone knows a TV show, if you don't know that TV show, if you don't show, know that TV show, <sighs> you cannot be hyper sane. Yeah. Um, you, wow. You need to watch that, and you'll wake up pretty quickly. Uh, because no, it's no, because there's a lot of people who watch it and still have. Okay, well that's true. Woke up, but. You'll at least get the experience waking you up. You will receive the ideas. Within that hour. And yeah, <laughs> yeah. If you ponder on it a little bit, then. Hopefully. Yeah. But then it's right back to cell phone land. If you. Yep. Anyway. So yeah, the else. picture, we've painted it. But if you look closer, you know, it's like a portrait mode picture. So they're on the patio of a cabin, presumably in the forest. You can't really see what's around but I mean nature. So not only are they ignoring each other, but they're ignoring like this beautiful scenery. Yeah. Like outside. <laughs> yeah. Just taking it outside, for but they just want to be inside, inside the phone. Like just tangent, but I hate how like people are like so concerned. Like there's people who are concerned about our planet, which I am too. Mm. But like, like we're we gotta make the it past same, elementary the same things one. like this first. Yeah, like, like we're yeah, so concerned saving. about our environment, and then, but then right. we're yeah, we gotta we're the same ones who like on our phones, like yeah, just looking at the news stories. Yeah, and then <laughs> like right in front of in nature, like there's nature right in front of you, yeah. just like, but you the main anyway. 
I mean, that, yeah. that brings up a, another topic. We need people feed off a constant information feed. Yeah. Uh, Not to I be mean, repetitive, but, but... It's like... Like, we, we want new info, and most of it's useless. Mo- a lot of it's useless. Like, how does... How does all this stuff... Re- I'm trying to like, think of a good how example. How is it relative to you, you know? Yeah. It isn't. Like, we think it is, but it really isn't. You know what I'm saying? Like, there's a whole world. There's a whole you that you don't even know about. But you're too busy to focus on all this other stuff. But sorry. Sorry no, to interrupt you, your talk. No, you're good. You're good. Um, but yeah, anyways, go check that out. Go check that website out. I mean, out. That, that leads to another topic. Remember when we went to <laughs> Park? And, um, dang, I sort of gave our location. Uh, that's how it gets I mean, there's out. <laughs> everywhere. But, uh, but yeah. yeah, we went to local park. And, um, yeah, we, you know what I'm saying, because we try to at least enjoy nature, you know what I'm saying, just, we have these, this was like sort of the, like, we have a nice little ritual where we just freaking talk, have these discussions, just chill, you know what I'm saying, in nature, and, you know, actually enjoy life, because not too many of us do it, and apparently we don't have too much time for it, but anyway, yeah, yeah so we're there just chilling, talking, and, um, we see these two girls, younger and um wow it's just like it so, well let's paint the picture you go ahead and you paint yeah. it you okay paint so it. You paint so it. we are sitting on i'm already by, so there are two lakes in said park and uh they both have you know a fountain i mean it's beautiful beautiful scenery and at the one in particular uh you are looking into uh the the west Sort of the the westerly yeah, direction, yeah. and so this is dusk. The sun is setting. It's like, beautiful. It's, it's not it's like cloudy. Nice... It. I mean, it's great. You get a reflection off the water, even even like, though it's disgusting. Yeah. <laughs> it's like a nice blend between there's nature and then there's like the nice city, like right. A nice you have city the city feel. around you, you have, and, and then, then you, have you, na- yeah. you have trees. You have the grass was right in front yeah, of us. So We're like sitting at a, nice, a bench, so that's still like you know nice not really mix. nature. It's industrial, but like a nice industrial and nature mix where it's like it's very yeah. appreciative. Suburban, you know? suburban, yeah. yeah, type of. There is you that go. suburban? Yeah, yeah. Urbanized, uh, whatever you want. Or urban, I don't know. Anyways, cityscape like. Yeah. <laughs> So we're sitting there, and then leading down to the uh, the pond, the pond lake. It's almost the a small lake. It's pretty big. Yeah, <laughs> the, 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 the infestation, like the water. Um, uh But I, it's a retention pond, basically. That's the sole purpose. Yeah. It's actually a pretty interesting uh, engineering feat. Um, so there's grass leading down, and these two uh, girls come down and they set a blanket out. You know, it looks like, the, you know, it's a good spot to lay down because you're still at an angle where you can just look into the sunset and whatnot. I mean, it would be a great place to, picnic. I mean, yeah, picnic, end up falling asleep and taking a nap, like anything. Um, anything but what we're about to say. <laughs> <laughs> God. Go ahead. Yeah, so they set their bags down and then it's just i mean without hesitation just <laughs> both phones whip out like they they're slinging rifles you know Oop. just like they're armed and ready Dual and wield. commence photo shoot or at least an hour wasn't it an hour <laughs> it was like 30 minutes yeah. at least like insane they're just sitting there, like, one of them, I mean, at some points, one of them wasn't even taking it, like, one of them was doing selfies. I mean, who knows? They were probably getting a different one for Facebook, Instagram, Snapchat, Flickr. Yeah. I mean, I don't know what Tumblr. you use in these days. Yeah, Tumblr, if that even still exists. What's that thing? Reddit. What, what's that? No, they're trying to post on Reddit. <laughs> Reddit one Reddit's probably there. too much for them. <laughs> too much um, reading. <laughs> anyway, what's that other... Anyway, though. But oh, yeah. Visco. Yeah, they're trying to post on Visco. Yeah, that's another topic. We'll get, we'll get there. That's another day. Because that, um, that was a weird discovery. My energy is depleting. <laughs> let's, let's, let's stop. Any, okay. Anyway. Yeah, so half an hour straight. Dang. Just full Just, phone. And, like, we were trying to carry a conversation, and legit, 
couldn't. I mean, it's a distraction almost. Like they're them using a distraction was a distraction. Yeah. <laughs> just to and try to enjoy it. It's like they're really over there just destroying the whole <laughs> the whole vibe yeah. that's in the area. And meanwhile, like we were watching this bird was like hopping around us. We're over here. It was like coming close. Yeah, we're like maybe we can communicate with it. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it has more sense point. than they do. Yeah. But, you know, he was trying to find some food. Like, it was intriguing, but it, uh, they wouldn't have seen it. Not even known. <laughs> and then we really got, and we it, really got hyper sane, and we were, like, almost labeling them as a National Geographic type of animal planet type of. Yeah, <laughs> someone could have come in with a whole film crew and, yeah. like, wow. Wow, look, wow, at, look at these two women in the wild. Two, two, two wild bimbos. <laughs> Throwing it out there. Two bimbos. Just look at them at the, the natural habitat in nature, but they get getting pictures for the gram. For the gram. Oh, how many, how many pictures do you think that is? Over 100. Wow. For the FB. Incredible. Yeah. Absolutely astonishing to see that many pictures in 30 minutes. Just wow. Wow. <laughs> look at her. A selfie. Nuts. Wow, look as she lines up the angle. <laughs> <laughs> look how she tilts the phone. Unreal. Wow, look at it. Professional photography at its finest. <laughs> Unreal. Wow. Anyways. Yeah, and there so you we have the iPhone 11. <laughs> Anyways, but... Uh, Apple. So, iPhone in general. Yeah. <sighs> it was depressing. I, I couldn't. And it was, what, it was the end of it, maybe for like a couple minutes. One of them finally... Put the phone. Actually, the le- the least of the two expected. Actually, no. No, it was, no. The one, it the one that we did expect to put it down first, finally did. And within two minutes after that, oh here, they stand up, oh, yeah. gather everything, Boop. and they're out of no, there. Yeah, just uh, like the one didn't even get off her phone. No. Besides, like putting it down. Oh wait, I forgot to post to this place. Oh, yeah. And it, right back up. Oh, I got to post to all my snap streaks. <laughs> they got to see it too. Everybody has to see it. <laughs> oh, and they're my. not even seeing it. <laughs> they're not. Wow. Oh, man. Like, we're there now. We are there now. Yeah, they're on. They're on, they're on. <laughs> they are on, they're on. Yep. Jesus, that's a whole other. They're on is a whole other place we'll have to explain later. That's a whole. Yeah. Anyways, should we just hit the Visco girls real quick? I don't want to. <laughs> but anyways, if you if you're interested, Excuse look me that if up. I puke. Look up Visco girl. It's it's an actual oh. thing. It's a culture. <laughs> People really thrive off this kind of thing. First, I think it was the first video you looked up. It was like, and I oop. <laughs> just just know that and and look that up. But uh, we won't. Typical I won't words. go any further. All right, and by the way, I I am black. And Alec is white. Not that it matters, but so yeah. if we say anything like just racist, just no. right. If if Kamari says something just like, outlandish, like no, he I'm, has the right. You know, not. Yeah, like, freaking who cares? <laughs> but which brings to my point, like like the Visco, they're these white girls who just so basic, so typical. And then like another of like of the black culture, we got hot girls and the hot girls summer and all that boy crap that we all pay attention to and it's just like all these people doing all this weird making these weird noises like with that with the i'm not even gonna say it yeah i can't even do it that's how you know it's unnatural (laughs) i mean you can't you can't do it as fast as as she did in the video it was unbelievable yeah like yeah but it's like what is up with that like all those weird type of like all those weird freaking all these weird trends like people like the people who don't do them get labeled as weird, and the people who don't know about them get labeled as weird. But what they do is freaking weird. We're all freaking weird. But it's like, yeah. I guess weird as in like shunned upon. Like, oh, you don't know this or you don't do that. Or, you know what I'm saying? In a, in a much different way. Yeah, like in a like a lot I mean, negative. Yeah, very negative. They're shunned way. upon in in like a oh wow, like you do that as opposed to like. I mean, what we're doing is a lot more subtle. It's like a, until you actually put your ideas out there, which we're doing now. Um, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Finally. Yeah. Um, then, I mean, people wouldn't really know The more until you start showing it more. 
Right. But that's right. what I'm saying. Like, all these weird things just get... It's like one person does it, and it just spreads, and then it's like, oh, wow, we're just going to take put our energy towards it because cause everybody else is. And then yeah. it's just this whole spiel. It's this whole thing, a whole collective, and now it's just like... <laughs> Yeah, uh, those Fisco girls. What is it like? They they have the hydro flask, and then it's the it's like hydro flask Crocs. Bringing back to Crocs, Deadpool style. Talking real and proper, like or not yeah. even proper. Just oh no, real basic. just talking like real basic. Like, oh my god! Like, if you didn't if you didn't get one of these, oh my god. I'll hook you up with it. I'll give it to you. Yeah, it's like Lola on <laughs> Big on Big Mouth, yeah. easily. <laughs> Like what? I don't, I don't know. My God! My God! I, I totally don't. I had it. I hit it the other day, but I, I've lost it now. But yeah. anyway, yeah, it's like, I don't know. It's like we're all trying to conform into these weird things, like weird cult. <laughs> it's like what the why? Yeah, like, oh. we gotta be different. Gotta break out, man. Don't be afraid to be different, y'all. <laughs> That could be a topic in his Yeah, own. but don't be different like that. Anyways. Oh, well, I'm, I'm about to bring it up. Frick it. Wow. Sure. Uh, <laughs> when your idols turn to... What's a nice word that rhymes with idols? <laughs> when your idols turn to pie holes. I don't know. So, yeah. You know what? No, I'm not going to bring it up. The, that alone should just bring up or should spur the uh, what I was going to bring up. But certain people just sell out and uh, clearly don't care anymore. I'm looking at them right now. Wow. <laughs> uh, yeah. No, don't don't even say. Don't even speak of its existence. But but uh, yeah. anyway, what were we saying? Dang, we. That just goes. I mean, sh- were you just going down the lyric path? Were you going to talk no, about that no, a little no. bit? I feel like we've sort of got off tangent. Which we is, did. I mean, good because there's a lot of stuff to talk about all the time. But yeah, I mean, what, all the topics are linked because Apparently. they're all in a specific realm. So yeah, it's gonna be hard to just segment. But but yeah, yeah like going back to like the phone use, it's just like mm. we're really taking ourselves out of reality and putting ourselves into a another reality, like this whole different world. Like, it's it's almost overwhelming because there's people who just completely buy into it that are completely virtual. A lot of us are. And then there's people who actually don't, who want to try and find, like, the balance between real and social, like, or internet. And then there's the people who just don't even want any parts of it and just want to s- live life. And, like, me cutting, like, me deleting Snapchat was like, you say it like we say it like a lot. <laughs> you not, say it like a lot. I I think yeah. I've been pretty good about it actually. You, you've been getting better, but trying to trying to cut that word out. If you use like a lot, absolutely. I mean, I'm just gonna say whatever. The absolutely fruit. cut it out. There there are a lot of other words, like. <laughs> I'm <laughs> <joking. laughs> but that's what I'm saying. I almost said it. But um, <laughs> dang, it's almost hard to almost like a speech. Once impediment. you start thinking about point, it, yeah, yeah, it's, it's, it's like, hard to get rid of. Yeah, yeah um. <laughs> but um, like, 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 it's just crazy in that we take ourselves out of reality. It's just to be in somewhere else that doesn't even matter. You know, we could be f- finding out about ourselves, like finding out what's in front of us. That's it. Mm. That's it. Like. I didn't. I don't even know. But we could we could be finding out like about all this stuff, and instead we choose to put it towards. Now, if you're on it to like, if you're on it to uh, research and to do stuff according to opening your third eye or you know becoming conscious, and I mean that's fine, but. Like on social just, media, yeah, and stuff? or like just on your phone. Oh, okay. But if you're just, I mean, yeah, it, 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 you know, above anything else, it is still a tool. research purpose. Like it can be a tool. Yeah, but but we've completely blown that out of proportion. Yeah, it's just for pleasure at this point. Uh, dopamine. Like, 
<laughs> if you might as well start shoving it up there, you know. Yeah, I mean, but it's sort of scary at this point. Could be a fence. I mean, <laughs> that's a whole different topic, bro. That that lady was literally. Uh, yeah. yeah. Wait, wait. <laughs> We'll leave that alone. <laughs> oh, you're gonna leave that alone. That's a that's a video. We'll next time. Yeah. But it's like, yeah, I don't know. It's, if you all right, if you are listening to this right now, you feel you feel that you're getting drained. You you feel that you don't want to be on this stuff. You're on the same the same wavelength, same energy as us. Because I mean, as of late, it's just been. I've been in and out of it. Like, part of me still wants to use it, like, just to promote stuff like this, like right. podcast music. But then you sort of go into this this hole, and then you're just caught up in, like, oh, let's, what is this person got going on? Oh, what is this guy? You know what I'm saying? And it's, it's a lot of people don't even know themselves. And it's, they're putting all this energy towards this other person. And that nine times out of ten, that other person is doing something that doesn't even matter and that's we're constantly getting we're constantly feeding ourselves knowledge like the wrong knowledge and then it gets to a point where we don't even know ourselves and we're sort of just like imagine without phones we're just sitting there like probably losing it because we don't know how to handle ourselves and we don't know how to you know what i'm saying oh yeah if you if you took some people's phones away i don't think they would know what to do with themselves half of the time like, they wouldn't be able to find anything productive to do right. otherwise. And it's, it's like, just, well, you weren't actually being productive on your phone first, anyways. <laughs> yeah. So, so, I mean, I guess you could you... just sit there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but they'd probably freaking lose Wow, it. We, might, we might need to do an actual science experiment. Might have to call up a local lab or something. Be like, hey, take these we're, we're going to gather people. some funds and, yeah. and some phones yeah. and, and people. <laughs> we're going to do this study. Robots. Really? Yeah, robots. Right. Robots is right. I don't know. Any uh, any other topics you want to bring up? Mm. We sort of just busted it wide open. <laughs> I mean, what what better way to do it yeah. is there? First you just time. Just gotta <laughs> <laughs> just right in. Oh yeah. Um. I mean, we. We could cover going vegan. Yeah. Because um, I feel like that's a, a prominent topic nowadays. Speaking of, I have a freaking granola bar in my... I don't want to be rude and open it. I mean, just... you. Get, that's fine. You know, all the crackling. That's fine. It's, it's I mean, we're me. trying to make this as real as possible, so... Yeah. I mean, this might all make the take, make the cut. <laughs> 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 Anyway, it's real life sound effects. We are not in a closed studio. This is uh, a room. It has a bed. (laughs) May or may not be a bedroom. (laughs) It is slightly soundproofed. The dollar store way. Oh, yeah. Whatever. Gotta make it happen. I think it's a good setup. We got two mics, so that's. Nice mics at that. Yeah. Nice setup. You got. Great JBL's setup. Going. We good. have the internet at our disposal. Could be the next Joe Rogan podcast. <laughs> it will be. We just got to start having guests. We will. Um, I know someone who'd be good for it. Our boy Bakari. Yeah. Oh, yeah. He'll be on here, so I'm not going to censor that. Yeah. But, um, anyway, yeah, vegan. Um, I'm eating a granola bar at the moment. Does it have chocolate in it? Frick. Mm. <laughs> Frick that's me. that's a black mark. <laughs> <laughs> no golden star for Kamari today. Uh, does it? It does. No, it's it, so it contains no, milk. Dairy free though. It says dairy oh, is free. It? Really? I swear. I'm to God. interested. Can I take a look? Yeah, it's these freaking time bars. You I heard of? It was dairy free. Yeah, but it's chocolate. It's chocolate though. Oh, it's, it's like it's definitely been in your pocket. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty pretty uh, melted. Oh, it contains almonds, coconut, and soy. May contain peanuts, tree nuts, sesame seeds. Unsweetened chocolate, though. What does chocolate come from a plant, right? I mean, co- cacao does. 
cacao is a or there's cocoa beans yeah and then there's also cacao i'm actually not really sure of the difference i never had a cacao but not gonna lie to you might have to might have to do a quick quick, quick search. search but chicory root fiber wow <laughs> <laughs> i don't know but it's kind i'm about to look that up too our kind bars vegan we're about to to bust this wide open. What's the flavor of that? Dark chocolate, almond, coconut. Oh god, that just sounds not vegan. Doesn't. Just the dark al- dark chocolate. Dark though. chocolate almond. Yeah. Oh fudge. It looks like a freaking poop melted. And anyway. Yeah. Uh, while he's looking that up, <laughs> I'll go ahead and. Is it vegan? D- uh, contain. Hold on. Oh. Unfortunately, it says unfortunately all of the classic kind bars, kind bars flavors like vanilla blueberry and dark chocolate mocha contain honey, which means that they're not vegan. Honey is not vegan. Is honey not vegan? It comes from a. Bee. Comes from an insect. <laughs> Does an insect count as an animal? It's Hold a up. Thing, though. This might have opened up something new here. <laughs> not all. I hate people in their article subtitles. It says, are kind bars vegan? Here's what you should know. And then subtitle, not all granola bars are created equal. Oh. Like, <laughs> wow, you really hooked me in with that one. University of Central Florida, Kayania <laughs> Small. I don't know. Anyways. She's black. Kayania? Yeah, it might, it might, might say it like Kenya. Anyways. <laughs> <laughs> ah. <laughs> oh yeah we're keeping that one. Oh yeah uh our kind bars bars vegan the short answer is no on the website there's a question that asks if their products are vegan kind snacks says that most of their products contain honey which may not fall within a stricter vegan diet honey is By definition, vegans do not eat animals or use animal products, and in the vegan community, honey is seen as non-vegan. Really? This is new information to me. Why is honey not vegan? I don't... Insects? Animals? I'm freaking chewing all into this mic. Honey isn't vegan because in order to obtain it, humans exploit bees. Yeah, but they're not killing them. The bee, like, they, you need the bees to make the honey, but you're not, like... I mean, but think of, like, a cow and milk. I mean, uh, that's true. Really, though? Honey? Wow. I guess, I, I guess that's another thing. If I continue to eat honey, then I'd be like, oh, my God. But you're a vegan. I feel like that's a social, more social vegan thing. I might stick with honey. Rather than actual health-wise. Yeah, that, that <laughs> seems insane. Because honey <laughs> is a good sh- sugar substitute. Like, even in, even in coffee. Like, I've tried it in coffee. It's not bad. You need to use a little bit more, but at the same time, that's not... It's still not as bad yeah. as sugar. And also, let me just throw it out there, that uh, regular sugar is actually better for you than artificial sweeteners. If you didn't know that. <laughs> You out here drinking Splenda because you think your Diet Coke is better for you. False. Yikes. Absolutely false. Just stop drinking the soda. <laughs> for real. Simple as that. Like, find something else sweet. Wean yourself off of it. Like, I haven't had... That's another thing. I haven't had caffeine in, like, a month. Cue round of applause audio clip. Yeah. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> So anyway, that's a change, but yeah, so we're, we vegan, so are, we are going vegan. You are going vegan. I'm pretty much there. I knew you'd say that. <laughs> You've said that so many times, <laughs> but and yeah, no, I don't know which ways I'm not there. No, I'm saying like, but, just that, but yeah, in yeah, general. I mean, I'm trying to push you. I'm almost to there. Get no, there. I, yeah. you know, I'm getting there. No, I, I know. I'm, I feel like it's, I'm it's still just motivating to bring it up. To be yeah, like, ah, I mean, okay, I'm, it's not that bad. There's someone else doing it, you know? No, I mean, I know it's not that bad. Because at the first, it seemed crazy. 
It really oh, did. Let me tell you something. I was like, wow, like how am I not gonna eat chicken? Chicken was like if you didn't like okay, like we know that red meat is a little bit worse for you than no, than I maybe was, chicken. I was a carnivore. But at the same time, like if all you're eating is chicken, then you I mean, thought you'd fine. you thought you'd be fine. Yeah. Yeah, but no. Uh no. <laughs> but yeah, um we we both decided to go with vegan and um it's been tough, you know. How is you, how how is your process? Because I have like I already told you mine. So I had a process, and then I threw it directly out the window because I just wanted to switch. Don't I don't right know. Him. Like the more that I, the more the idea was in my head, and just the thought of like doing it, I was like, well, why would I not just do it? And you know, I did a fair amount of reading that said. Go, go it doesn't really it. matter. Yeah. Like as long as you're supplementing, you know, the nutrients and all that stuff that you're, that you're getting, it's no big deal. The the majority of people who have an issue is they start under eating. Me. J- because they don't know what to eat probably. <laughs> Me. <laughs> or don't know how to cook that type of stuff. Me. <laughs> but I mean cooking is easy. It is, which so. But I'm used to cooking the freaking the black, fried, grilled. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Just lazy. Or not lazy, but just the bad. Mm-hmm. You know, like dumping in grease. Oh, we're going to make this chicken. We're going to go with that. Uh, what's it? The, with the flour on it, get the breading up, get the grease going, boom, season it to God knows how much, and just slap that bit right up in the, right up in the goddamn... Hmm. Just, oh yeah but we've had a change of heart i have you know what i'm saying currently where where are you where are you sitting at right now vegan wise like oh like like, like where am i I yeah in the process uh, i'm or, trying to think what i still what i still have <laughs> I, just, I, <laughs> I mean this should be fine um, but yeah, I'm, I haven't really had much that's not, not vegan friendly. I have some food that I may need to eat just to get rid of it, or I may just toss it, but I hate to toss it at the same time. Same. Like chili, like I have some chili, but I've already bought like vegetarian chili, which by the way, i to my knowledge, is vegan because there was nothing on there in the ingredients that would have made it not right, vegan, yeah, but it's just called vegetarian. vegetarian. Yeah, that, I've seen which, a lot of that. Where it's like yeah, it makes me really – you've got to be skeptical yeah. because it's like, oh, well, you had this vegetarian burger that's slammed with a sauce that has mayonnaise in it and it has cheese. So it's like, uh, yeah, ooh, well, right I'm going to have to pass on those, yeah. but you mean the plain burger. But uh, – yeah, I. Besides that, yeah, I've been doing like stir fry. Got the vegan sausages, pretty good. Breakfast sausages, even. Those are a little bit odd. They didn't really infuse right. the yeah, maple flavor right. as much as I would have liked. So maybe uh, field roast. If you can improve on that, that would be <laughs> fantastic. You're not going to hear this, but it doesn't matter. Yeah, I'm you just might. Throwing you it in the universe. Sponsor us, there. baby. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, yeah, I mean, now see, I had a different way of going about it. Um, me, let me give my backstory. All I used to live for was ribs, chicken, hamburger, and um, yeah, that's all I used to eat. Three, two, three times a day, it'd just be like, ooh, sausage, yeah, ribs, <laughs> yeah. I'm saying all this stuff and. Barely eating vegetables. I ate a lot of fruit. You know what I'm saying? I was eating a lot of, or I wouldn't say a lot of fruit, but had my serving, like a banana, applesauce. Very minimal. But, yeah, um, just love love meat. Pause. Uh, (laughs) (laughs) Gotta get that meat. Right. And a big mac and cheese fanatic, too. So, but um, as I was saying, yeah, used to eat nothing but ribs, chicken, all that. So what I decided was, 
September, I go completely, uh, completely red meat without red meat. So I did. So, and it was, it wasn't that bad, actually. It wasn't that bad because I had chicken at the time. Mm-hmm. And um, now I'm currently uh, off chicken and all the other types of meats. I was thinking just doing another month pescatarian, like pescatarian and then vegetarian, or was it pescatarian only? So like fish, yeah. only fish and then dairy. Dang. Now that I think about it, I haven't even had fish in a while. Right. Which, which, I don't. Really I almost want to have like fish that. one more time, bro. We got to try that one place. I want. I still want to go. Oh, true. What's the name of it? Yeah. Crafty crab. Crafty crab. But what's yeah, that, that would one be nice. supplement? I really want to get like salmon though. I'm hearing like, fish, salmon was my favorite. Fish is like, and I never tried uh, crabs. Crab legs. I've always wanted to try those because they smell great. But crab I'm hearing fish great. has that one. What's that thing? It's the one sup- nutrient. Uh, oh, omega three. Omega. You yeah, get omega, omega threes from other stuff. Okay. Yeah. Um. But yeah, he's looking up omega three, Alec. But yeah, I'll keep explaining. Uh, yeah. So I decided to go red meatless and then chickenless next month, and then the next this month currently is just vegetarian because I decided to skip pescatarian because I don't I never really ate f- seafood like that. Other than like sh- shrimp here or there, fish sticks. That's about it. And then the month after this is dairy free. We're vegan. But um, all right, you ready for him? Let's go. So, uh, seaweed and algae. Okay. Have omega threes. Um, chia seeds. Chia seeds are good. So smoothies. Throw those in smoothies. Get mm-hmm. those. Um. Hemp seeds. I've heard of those. Flax seeds. Flax seeds are very good. Never heard of those. Um, high in fiber, protein, magnesium, and manganese as well. Besides that as well. Um, walnuts, edamame. Okay. Edamame is... That's pretty good. Even as a snack, they're the... You know... You know Edamame, right? I've edamame are the beans that you you like pop open and just eat like the beans that are inside. Oh. Yeah. Anyways, Probably or you man. like you can like pull them out <laughs> of the sh- of the skin. They sort of look like green beans. Okay. But you usually eat them like cold, and you just you get the take the beans out of like the the casing. Right. Just with salt. I mean, it's a typical. I'm trying to think where. I think it's like Benihana. You probably don't even know what that is. There's, That's like a, a South Florida thing. Yeah. It's like a hibachi grill. Like okay. they cook in front of you. Okay. I, I know you can get them there. Anyways, uh, kidney beans. All right. Uh, soybean oil. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And supplements. I mean, obviously, there's fish oil. There's cod liver oil. Which can't do krill oil. Can't I mean, other is that stuff? There's algae oil and ALA supplements. Is that stuff vegan friendly? You know, the algae and ALA would be right. The supplement probably more expensive too, because that's another thing that we get to deal with. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Lots of money goes into this healthy lifestyle. They're freaking. Yeah, like six dollars for two burgers that are not actually meat. Six dollars, and you only get two. Like I could get a fat pound and a half of just pure cow yeah, for that. For six, just kill you so quick. Yeah, but yeah, I mean that that goes to show. Like another topic, like hey, of course they they're gonna make it harder for you to actually live. And, oh yeah, um, and um, yeah, it just sucks. It sucks how much it costs. It, but like honestly. I was worried about what am I going to eat, but just even off. And a lot of this, another side note, a lot of this was brought up by the Game Changers movie. True. We saw that. Yeah. If you were really interested. Changed the game. It literally. <laughs> Great movie. If you're interested in just the idea of eating vegan or going for that lifestyle, absolutely watch that movie. Right. Because 
it will probably change your mind about it. it if not completely, at least a little bit. It will get you, you thinking. Yeah. For you sure. will probably want to research it more and whatnot. So, but yeah. yeah, it is out on not discs, but uh, we saw it in the theater, and I think it's out on like iTunes and Hulu or real, you know, just digital yeah, services. Digital. So yeah, get that, watch it. But um, what was I saying before that? Um. We were talking about the Omega Threes. I'm not sure where where you had gone. I can't remember, to be honest. Wow. I mean, I think you were just talking about your process. Yeah. Like where you were. No, there was like some. But I, I guess yeah, like it's been a. I can't, actually can't remember. I'm sort of hurt. But it's sort of <laughs> like a. It's it's been very tough because. One, we're, we're I'm at a busy point in my life, and it's like there's so much to do, and it's hard to like sit down and actually learn what to eat, how to cook, how to cook it, what I can do, where to eat too. That's another. <laughs> yeah, eating one. out is has become fun. Right. Oh yeah, like it pays to freaking it pays to live good, like it or it pays. Like, all this true. expensive stuff is just, like... You pay for this and not medical bills. Right. And it's, like... Theoretically. Trade-offs. But, I don't know. There's a lot more I want to research. Because I hear you eating naturally gets rid of a lot of mucus-related things that are in your system. And mucus is, like, the number one cause of a lot of diseases. That's from... I've heard that from Doctor Sebi. Is uh, okay. he passed away? If I'm not mistaken, if he, I don't, I'm not. You know, he's one of, one of those black activists that you know, as a black, you should know. <laughs> I sound probably racist as crap, but uh, yeah, like just I mean, if it's true, I've it's heard true. about it. I, I, I don't, I've only, I've only heard about it, but apparently, he, his theory was that mucus was like a lot of mucus was the the reason or the relation to a lot of diseases like cancer, heart attack, all this stuff, just your system being fully loaded with all this stuff and blood flow not, you know, you know, I, it was, it was some, I have to look more into it, but okay. if anybody's hearing, if anybody that's hearing now knows more about it, definitely hit us up, hit our emails E- email us stuff you know what I'm saying that quick tangent yeah email us stuff because yeah. we're, we're always trying to learn something new but um yeah just just wanted to see more for me I feel like it was a burden like I noticed like the phone thing I noticed myself eating a lot of meat and it's just like dang I'm really gonna let this control me like I don't want to so I decided to get off of it yeah. And more of just like a. Go ahead. Sorry. You really do. No, off. you get like instilled in your head that, that like, oh, like meat is so filling. Like, it's such it a good is. meal. And like, then you end up eating it and like neglecting everything else because you're like, oh, well, it's not as filling. So just for like this one time, which ends up being a thousand times, sure. you're like, oh, I'm just going to have the meat. Like, I'm just going to have these hot dogs. Yeah. Which... It's like, oh, bread and then this meat. It's going to be so filling and so good for me. <laughs> I couldn't tell you how many times. And then bread. Yeah, and, yeah. same. Same with hamburgers, too. So it's Yep. Like... Now, but I mean, at the same time, and I mean, black bean burgers, like I've been getting the frozen ones. Mm-hmm. You can heat that up in the same amount of time. I mean, yeah, yeah you got to put it on the stove and it cooks better that way. You get a crispy outside because the inside is you know, never really going to be crispy or right. the texture of an actual burger. It's going to be mushy. So if you get the outside nice and crispy, it takes like 10 minutes max to cook these things from frozen. So there's no, you know, pre-prep that you need just from frozen and then whip it up boom. whip it up, and you can eat those. And that's a hell of a lot better because they, you know, put some veggies even in the burgers yeah. themselves. So. Yeah, a lot of stuff is like... As I've been eating these veggie burgers, it's like, dang, I got to have vegetables with it. But it's like, oh, wait, this is, <laughs> this yeah, is vegetable. <laughs> yeah. So you might as well just have more. So, yep. Yeah, I mean, it's 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 an interesting 
Interesting change as of late. There actually was a video that I saw today that was an animal activist and then like a like a plant activist. Mm-hmm. And you have to send me that one. His, I'm uh, I'm gonna have to find it again. But basically, like his view was like, yeah, but you're killing the plants. Like the plants are alive. And I was like, stop it. Okay, Stop. but then you know this this girl came back with a fact. She said, um, "Well, plants actually have been proven to just respond to stimulation, and they're not actually alive." Like, I mean, in a way, yeah, plants are still living yeah, organisms, yeah. Right. but that is also true. Like, they're more so responding to stimulation. Right. And he kept saying, like, "Oh, but you know, you're talking about the animals and like how they you know get tortured and all this shit, and um, they." Uh, wow, I just lost my train of thought. But yeah, so <laughs> the animals are, uh, they, they bring emotion into it. Yeah. And he's like, yeah, but yeah. you know, the plants don't have them. And I was like, ah, oh, God. but, uh. and then, I mean, she schooled him basically with a point of, well, yeah, but animals consume like two thirds of the plants that are cons- you know saying. across the planet, yeah. as opposed to humans. So, if you cut down on eating the animals, which are just a carrier of the plants, then you end up eating less plants just by directly eating the plants. Yeah, and he had nothing to say because you can't like that. That completely that just Makes. turns it on its head. Yeah. So, <laughs> I was like, oh. <laughs> yeah <laughs> so true so yeah i mean and then and it's it's proven to not be as good and like in the movie you know they say like the way that the animals break down the plants like you're not getting all of you're not getting the same prote- thing yeah and all the same like that's why you need like you're getting the animal protein you're getting what like, they what not. <laughs> yeah, yeah pretty much so <laughs> Be like, like we were talking about before. Like, what if we just took a person? I was just about to say we that. killed them. Right. And just like, all right, let's uh, let's auction off his his arm. Yeah, just so. Who wants so a nice delicate. forearm? Yeah, fillet. Oh, the arm market. <laughs> yeah, let's 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 cut this boy up, right? You know yeah. what I'm saying? What's what's the word? I uh, want clean the cheek. Him. Clean Give me his cheek. <laughs> Clean them, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. Portion Clap them up. some cheek on my stove, boy. <laughs> Portion up that cheek. I want some fachikas. <laughs> fachikas. <laughs> and just, you know what I'm saying? We're going to cook that cheek. We're going to fry it. We're going to season that cheek. We're going to, you know what I'm saying? Put that dip cheek sauce. Where's the cheek sauce? Where's the cheek sauce? You know what I'm saying? It, like Ramsey. <laughs> wow, that cheek is absolutely dreadful. Wow. Overcooked. Get that cheek out of my sight. Wow. Dreadful. Yeah, like, imagine that. Like, you get that. Like, it's up in Ramsey's kitchen. <laughs> yeah. They cook it. They overcook it. Yeah. Just trash. Yeah. Up oh, cheek. Trash can. Yeah. But that's what I'm saying. Like, imagine that happening to us. Like, all these, yeah. like, us getting prepared. That's low-key inhumane. Which, inhumane as in, like, not as in not human, but, like, in a living sense, like, yeah, dang, if they were doing it to humans, would would we call that humane? humane? <laughs> I don't, yeah, Loki. It if is anyone humane. wants to look into this, nah, please report report back to us. In a freaking blunder. <laughs> but um, that's what I'm saying. Like, imagine us getting freaking chopped up, sliced, cleaned. Yep. Also, I'm gonna I'm gonna do super side note on the fajitas. I think everyone should have this knowledge. So when you go to a Mexican restaurant and they have fajitas, not fajitas, um, if they have fajitas, the key is to get at least one person to order them, just so the when the food all comes out, like you may not, you may just have like a burrito and something like a boring boring plate, but. <laughs> You just get the one person at least that has fajitas just so that you can smell that while you eat. Because it's so – it smells so good. Yeah. Like, and yeah, I mean, there's meat in there. Whatever. We're on the <laughs> vegan thing, but 
like you have your vegan meal, which is totally possible with Mexican, and they get their fajitas, and Let you just aroma get the aromas, just, yeah. and then you can you like, oh. and then eat your bite, yeah. and it's like, oh yes, I've just mm. a cheat, a little cheat. So the, the, yeah, that made a little bit more sense before we did the whole vegan thing, but at the same time, I think that's still fair game. I don't know How about Unless, faded smelling you know, vegans barbecue the other day. Vegans haven't gone to the point where. Uh, just Consuming. inhaling the fumes is consuming the animal. But uh, Lord knows we'll get there. Oh, yeah. 2019. Anything's. Yeah. We're all, Hashtag 2019. We'll, we'll, we'll get there. No problem. But, um, yeah, I mean. Um, we'll go for about 20 more minutes. If that maybe maybe five ten, but um, yeah, we go for like ten more. That's what I'm saying. Like, yeah, back to our robot society life, a robot lifestyle. You know, homework, work, school, all that stuff, the fun stuff. You know, what I'm saying the real. Oh yeah. The real. Um, that's what I'm saying. Like, back to this vegan thing. I don't know. Part of me just wants to to try it, just to see the other side. And I don't know. I think I'll be permanently trying it. Yeah, <laughs> I, me too. It. I mean, it will definitely get easier over time. I think that we. But just the fact will transition that, there. The transition stuff, but just the fact that there's so many more vegetables than actual meat choices, like they said True. in the movie, like yeah. cows and. Yeah, like there's only, only get, like. Like cows, Cow, I guess pig. you could go bison, pig. I mean, you and you get out there into like oh gator and I mean all this other that's interesting the, stuff. But that's the, like even if you branch out into that, you still end up with far less than plant species, which is yeah. an indicator that this this plant life is a lot more abundant and resourceful. You know what I'm saying? Because animals are dying. All these animals are dying. And then we got the whole GMO thing. Like, Lord knows what they do to our food. Lord knows what they do to our vegan food either. That's the low-key sad part. We just don't even freaking know anymore. That's true. Just got to see it. I mean, it. they got to put the ingredients on there. So that's pretty much. Yeah, but I mean, who cares? They could do whatever they want. We don't know anything, I feel like. I mean, I guess, you yeah. know. They could be serving us legit humans for all we freaking know. Hope not. Wouldn't even know. Like, if they put some humans in some steak, I would have tore that human. Anyway, anyway uh, <laughs> yeah, so that just went there. Um, I do miss ribs. I will confess. You know what I'm saying? This is an honesty hour, and I will confess that I miss those ribs. God dang. Whew. I mean, it'll probably get better. It's chicken. like having an addiction and chicken too. getting off of it. Yeah, I mean, I mean, I miss them. I miss the freaking. I miss the hamburgers. I miss the. <sighs> I do, but you know, actually, I don't miss tofu. as much hamburger just because the Maverick from Grub is really. That's just, true. Yeah. If, <laughs> if anyone, if anyone listening has a Grub near them, uh, Grub Burger Bar. Get the Maverick, because it. Beyond. we have a meat-eater friend who agrees. Yeah, a couple. A lot of people. Yeah, even like. even the people who work at the restaurant were like, yeah, surprisingly, it was good. I rate it better than their actual burgers. As do I. And my absolute favorite burger there was the guacapotle. Yeah. But and I like the, no uh, longer. Mac and cheese burger, which was just double... <laughs> Killing myself. That's oh. that's coronary disease, oh, like <laughs> in a burger. It's like oh, on top of the meat, you got dairy and mac and cheese, which I love freaking mac and cheese. Speaking of, man, that freaking um, that burger from Prime Time. Who? Let's not even talk about it. We're not. Yeah, that will be a crazy way. memory. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Dang it, man! Guess we're not there anymore. Nope. Yikes. That burger was... But then, like, that brings up the thing. It's like, is it good for you if it puts you to... Like, food is supposed yeah, to give you us would. energy. 
This I would dude, get m- this dude would come back. We would go eat there, come back, like you know, theoreticize working on music afterwards, or and then just or anything. We would sit down on the couch for like a second to regroup, digest a little bit, and just whoop <laughs> into <laughs> like a deep slumber. Yeah, like that thing, <laughs> boy. It would when I tell you it would put me out. I was out, boy. Like. It was unreal just how quick the, that food just just sucks all your energy out. It's like, and it's food supposed to give you energy. Like, yeah. I was, and I mean, sometimes you just hit the right part of the day. Like, I've, I've, it still happened to me, even though overall I felt an energy boost. Yeah. Like, you still just hit the right part of the day. You get a full stomach and you're like, oh, man. About time. It just, it's nap time. For real, <laughs> though. But for the most part, yeah, if that's happening, like, all the time... Mm. Something ain't right. <laughs> yeah, something ain't something adding not up. adding up. <laughs> Birdman style. Shout out to him. But um, that's what I'm saying, like... <sighs> that stuff is lethal, bro. Lethal. Yeah. But sooner or later, we'll all be off it. I'm hearing carbs. Me and my senior design partner today, he's like, oh, you're going to cut off carbs? And I was like... Uh, no. <laughs> no, that's like a crucial. Yeah. I'm like, especially uh, for working no. out. Yeah. Which is, that's a topic for a later time, but yeah. Like carbs before a workout. For sure. I was hmm, like, very you good. Carbs? I was like, uh, yeah. Yeah. You, people definitely. like carb load before like, in, like a marathons workout. and yeah. shit or just a sporting event. So. Like noodles and all that. I cannot. You're pushing it. <laughs> now you're pushing it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. That's that's pretty vital. <laughs> I'm finna go get me some later. You feel me? But, uh, yeah, I mean, vegan. Vegan's the wave. I just want to try it. You know? just want to try. See what's, uh, what we have in store. But, yeah, I mean, anyway, I guess we'll stop here. Yeah. But um But yeah, so I guess that just about wraps up our first volume one. Volume one. We're going with volumes. Can yep. I get a round of applause? You know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah. Yeah. But, yeah, hopefully uh you enjoyed listening. If you did choose to listen, hopefully you made it all the way through. Um Hopefully you actually listened, not just we, heard it, you yeah. listened. Yes. Hopefully you 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 bit it, you ch- <laughs> You chewed it up, and then you swallowed it, and you're like, okay, it's in there. Yeah. And not just spat spat it out you know, just... right after chewing it for a little while. <laughs> yeah. That's basically the best metaphor I got for that. So, yeah, definitely digest it. and um, Think about it. Yeah, we'll come back with some more stuff. Hopefully over time we'll get maybe a bit more of a layout. But Structure. I think that the just stream of letting things go – is that's where the is the real, better yeah. for listening because I it's think that authentic. in a way you can actually follow it better yeah. because that's how the brain like you don't it you can stick on a topic but only for so long like you're gonna think of something so else no. so we're not trying to be robots pretty much yeah <laughs> <laughs> stick to one topic yeah. all right next no yeah. veering off topic please go back anyways yeah. so. Yeah. Yes, sir. That concludes episode one. Hyper Sandy. All right. Yeah. We will uh, catch everyone's ears next time. You know what I'm saying? Anyway. Hyper Sandy. Stay hyper sane, y'all boys and girls and gentlemen, gents, ladies, (laughs) and everybody else. Stay hyper sane. See you next time. See you next time.